Let's look at it. Right, who's the known? So it's an automatic slot here. Right, what do we got? We got pi to 15. So automatic right now, you know the guard, hey, Reese, pi, pi, pi. You get to half on this thing, get to 15, you get down to this nose. Okay, for full procedure, let's get it. But Zach, the whole key, you got a stretch block. So you got to stretch him, right? If he falls back inside, just stay on it right now. Then it's up to the back what he wants to do. But we can't just base drive people or we'll get in trouble. Okay, here we go, take right. Hey, Steven, Steven, don't commit so much here. Stay square, because once you turn here, you're done. You got me? You can't commit like that. There it is, get out! Ah! Rehash! Rehash! Pete, same deal, Pete, your hands. Hands are too low, not you, Pete. Not you, Pete. Peter. There we go, right? Hands high, you're up, you're up. He pointed Mike, the will came, and we'd be, we'd be done. He would never see it coming. Nice group. We can use our hands, right? It's easy. We can use our hands, it's easy. Set, hit! Stay in it, posture, posture. Stay square. Break. I'm not sure. Oh, we, our sets were terrible. We jumped them and they ran a game. Hey, Pete, Pete, man, on shovel, we have to capture a three. We have to, right? You got me? Yeah, if he stays that side, that's fine. But if he's that wide on me, that's a great cut, especially with that kid. It's cutting down, right? Next play. We lose Darnell late. So it looks like we got a little movement on that thing. We kind of could have just. I think you basically overran the whole team He's a good pass rusher. Hey, we get Carl Lundgren right there, Brandon. Hey, he's not going to bully you. He's not going to bully you. You know what I'm saying? Be patient on that. He's 220 pounds. He's not going to bully you. Then stay on the five. Hey, take the most dangerous there, those two. All right, good, okay. And hey, this is a perfect example. Hey, we're, this is what I'm talking about. We're sliding to 64. It's not a true zone where we essentially have men. I have the second. So if that's the guy we're going to and he doesn't do anything, I want to be firm here on that near six. You got me? Because I want to help out here. I don't need to slide to an open gap. Let's do it again. In all my time, I've never seen a throw. Are we supposed to occupy the safety? That's a guy. It's not a hate. You know what? Okay, and I'd want to do that again. Right, that's that picture where he kind of steps. You got to be true to the reach, right? Because we got to stretch this guy. So as I go to J block, go to J block me, and I just come right here, just like they play on outside. Right, I get to this fit. That's the picture where it's gray, get in it. But you got to continue to drive through this. We got to hit it and make this guy make an arm tackle, but you got to stay on it. And unless the back wants to bounce it, that's on the back. But we got to stay on this thing. Let's run that again. Okay, here we go. Hey, Hunch, you can be even more on that nose. That was a pin, right? Okay. Even even there, it, it, they weren't really in a threat of, of coming right there. So you can really punch that thing and then get back. You, know you would have decided if you think he's going to blitz. You know what I'm saying? It's third and long and they don't look like they're blitzing. Let's really stay on that nose, help Pete out. Very uh, helpful. Find out if we're cut. Good job. That's it. Cover the pass. Hey, every time, cover the pass. Next play, next play. Our spring preview look now shifts to the Monmouth University offensive line here with offensive line coach and recruiting coordinator Brian Gabriel. Coach Gabriel, let's take a look at this O-line group that you have. It's a group that is kind of mixed with some experience and also some youth as we look forward to the fall season. Yeah, um, it's we're bringing back three guys who have played significantly for us uh, in Josh Patterson, Mike Hunchak, and Brandon Maxwell. Um, this year, we're also uh, adding a couple guys who, who have, haven't seen a ton of time but have some experience and have been key backups for us in the last couple of years. Uh, right now, to address the loss of Mike Murphy, who was a, a very good and, and steady football player for us, four-year starter, um, we've moved Josh Patterson to tackle. Um, at the left guard position, Reese Johnson, who's a guy who was battling to start last year before uh, hurting a f uh, his foot in camp, uh, has kind of filled in solidly at the left guard position. Uh, Mike Hunchak returns at the center position, an uh, all-conference uh, player last year, and has, has done nothing but uh, continue to improve this spring. Um, at right guard, Pete Ireland is a guy who played a little bit for us last year, um, has kind of stepped into that role and has done a real nice job. Um, and at right tackle, Brandon Maxwell, who's a fifth-year guy, has played a ton of football for us. Um, has just been uh, probably our s most solid player last year, um, really consistent and has continued to build on that. Coach, specifically with the, the move of Patterson from inside 
to outside and, and you playing the position. Uh, what may be different skills or, or what has he had to, to start to pick up in the spring to get more accustomed to the new spot? Well, I think in general, the tackle position, um, you know, you, you need to be a little more athletic, a little more length. Luckily, Josh has played tackle in the past, and then we moved him into guard. Um, the one thing about the tackle position is some of the angles and pass protection um, actually are a little friendlier. Um, if you're a big, strong guy and, and a bigger guy, you can really work uh, defenders for width and that sort of thing. And uh, So I think Josh has actually embraced that role and has done a really nice job. Like I said, he played that position two years ago, and then, you know, because of the needed guard, he moved into guard. But, you know, I kind of feel he's even more natural a tackle. And it's got to be easier to break in new players and moving someone to a new position when you have a veteran presence at the center spot. Oh, I think certainly. You know, the one thing we've been very fortunate here uh, since I've been here, this will be my 10th season, um, is solid center play. And, you know, it starts back with John Castoro and, and then getting to Tommy Morrow and, and Andrew Music. Um, you know, it, it just we've had solid play, and I think if you can count on the center play, you can kind of put in pieces around that. You know, if you don't have center play, it's very evident. You know, Coach, last season, the Hawks led the conference in passing and almost 250 yards a game, uh, but still had a really good ground presence. And it looks as though with the stable of running backs that you have coming back, the ground will be on an emphasis again. And, and just talk about what the, the Monmouth philosophy is up front in the run game. And I know as a lineman, you guys take pride in creating holes for the backs. Yeah, sure. I, I think, uh, you know, here philosophically, our offensive staff, we want to be 50-50. We want to be a balanced attack. We feel like if you do one too much, you do one too little, it really gives you a disadvantage. You know, one of our advantages the off as an offense over the defense is they don't know if we're running or throwing the ball. Uh, now, clearly, we had Kyle Frazier last year. We had some very good receivers, a bunch returning. Um, and younger running backs, you know, I, I feel like we, we did throw the ball a little more, and we did a great job throwing it. Um, you know, I feel like moving forward, uh, we really have to do a great job running the football, kind of getting back to, you know, make, putting – the, the offense on the offensive line's back and running the football and really having success there. Um, with the tailbacks we have, with three guys that have played for us and have gotten older and have more experience, um, I feel really good about that position and, and our ability to be able to run the football. And, you know, our first approach is always to run the football. We have to, we understand we have to pass protect. Um, and that's a key part of the college game. Uh, but, you know, first and foremost, we have to be able to run the football. We have to be able to run the football. And the defense knows we're running the football. And it's really just an attitude thing. And coach, before we get thoughts on the scrimmage and then the upcoming spring game, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. It's an exciting time for Monmouth football, obviously, with the move to the Big South coming in 2014, a great schedule coming up this season that I know you and the other coaches and players are very excited about. Yeah, we're, we're very excited. First uh of all, the move to the Big South is, is a huge opportunity for our program. Um, you know, gets us the ability to play some, some really high-level teams while still maintaining, you know, the regional games we've kind of gotten used to the last few years, but uh, to kind of now take that next step. Um, in terms of next year's schedule, you know, the, the, it is everything you could ask for as a coach. Um, you know, it's going to be challenging. Um, it's going to put give our guys the opportunity to play in some great environments as well as play in some uh, traditional rivals we've kind of gotten used to. And it's a 12-game schedule, so we get – you know, 12 opportunities to, to grow and, and see what kind of football team we really are. And Coach, finally, with the spring game coming up this Saturday, noon at Kester Field, how has the process been as far as the development of the offensive line from the beginning of spring ball through last week's first scrimmage through now what you're expecting and hoping to see on Saturday? Yeah, the, the biggest thing is actually not in the first group. It's the development of, of the younger guys and building depth. Um, you know, I, I had high expectations for the first group, and obviously there's two guys that kind of were stepping in there and, and, and becoming part of that group and becoming stars. But those are the guys had, who had played for us and taken reps before. Um, it's really the younger guys that, that I've wanted to see develop, and I really feel like we've, we've made some significant steps there. The biggest thing is having guys that are, can compete to start once you come to camp in the second group and also guys that you can really count on if some, something happens to one of the guys in front of them. Um, and, you know, the young guys have, have really developed it, and that was a huge thing And seeing that, you know, the last week or so, kind of where that second group is and, and how much better we're getting. Um, you know, some guys stand out right now. Keith Klutz uh, is a young guy, a true freshman, uh, but he's really developing right now. And I've really been surprised and happy with Max Ruiz, who's a guy who uh, didn't play at all last year and kind of gotten sick during camp and kind of overcame that. And, and he's really done a really nice job and, and really kind of picked up the technique. Um, in terms of the game this weekend, you know, we're really excited about it. It's an opportunity to show our fans and, and where we're at as a team and kind of get excited about the upcoming season. Uh, but really, as a coach, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the practices leading up to that where you really get that development and you really get better every single practice. Well, Coach, we appreciate a few minutes today. Obviously, good luck Saturday. Hopefully everyone stays healthy and you come out of it ready to go for the fall. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it.
That's Mammoth Offensive Line Coach and Recruiting Coordinator Brian Gabriel. Look at the O-line as we now look forward to the spring game this Saturday, 12 o'clock at Kessler Field.